The second P in our prompt framework stands for when might you play with perspectives and voice? Now, this is something that really a lot of people, if you're on the internet a lot and you're really into AI like Trisha and I, this new idea of telling it to take on a, per, a perspective or to give it a voice is something that's really interesting that you can play with within ChatGPT. So we are talking with uh, one of our prompts that we have for the students on this one. When you're playing with perspective and voice, a student might give it a prompt that says, Give me a script for three grade five friends who are arguing about how to best win an egg drop competition. Trisha, we know sometimes in groups, there's things get heated. Uh, so we could go over and say, hey, give me a script for, for some friends who are arguing about, or even give me some questions to, to support our dialogue as a group. Um, I love that. And the perspective here is as fifth grade friends. Right. That's the perspective part is as what, as a seventh grader, as a 10th grader, as an 11th grade ELA teacher, you can actually prompt ChatGPT to take on a persona and say, from this perspective, what would you tell me from that perspective? What would you tell me? Uh, and it's really great, I think, to introduce kids to that as a 14 year old. What would you tell me? How would you help me support me in handling this situation? Uh, what are questions I need to be asking of my teammates in the egg drop? And, and it's just really great that when you can start playing with that perspective and voice. I, yeah, and that's the thing, right? I am so interested in how we are going to leverage tools like ChatGPT for social emotional learning, because I would take that so script true. and I'd be asking students, you know, for character A, how would you have handled that differently? Or how is the AI actually not understanding conflict that happens at your grade level with your friends? What is it missing yeah. out on? Um, and I, I, again, I think creating like case studies and scenarios also hugely time consuming. Now I have yep. a tool that's going to help me make them that I think serves as great conversation starters with students. Um, and that's really what we want, right? We want to use ChatGPT to foster conversations in the classroom between students with us as a guide. That's our goal. Our goal is to leverage technology to spend more quality time with our kids. Let me say that again. Our goal is to leverage technology, not replace us, not replace conversations. It's to leverage technology. This is what we do with all technology in the classroom. Leverage technology so that I get to spend more quality time with my kids. 